This one's sick. I actually shot this on my iPhone. It's a guy with a suitcase full of snakes in front of the bodega in Bushwick, and he had a little mini alligator in this Tupperware thing. And then he said he had like 60 monkeys at the house. They had a lion at the house, and they were selling all this stuff on the sidewalk. And this one hood dude like rolls up, and he's like, yo, what's in the Tupperware? He's like, it's an alligator. He's like, yeah, right. Opens the thing, and the alligator flipped down. The water shot up, and the dude jumped like 30, <laughs> jumped like three feet. So yeah, this is just um, a bunch of photos from like some of my first zoo trips. And um, I remember going on trips, and it was like two, three week long trips. And I get back, and I don't remember anything. And I know I had a great time, but I just don't remember anything. So I remember I started bringing like a point and shoot camera with me. Um, I bought this old camera off of RB with a little fisheye. And yeah, this is like the old Vicious Cycle house. And it was called, uh, the name of the video Vicious Cycle came about because you can see this house, the apartment we had. It was my first apartment I moved into, it had no windows. We skate till like 8 in the morning, come back to the house, smoke weed, play pool, and we wake up the next day, and we didn't know what time it was outside, so we'd wake up and just kind of smoke weed, and like, it just turned into like a vicious cycle. That's like the name of the, where the video came from, because this house, Harold would always drink Mad Dog 2020, and I'm like, what the hell is this shit? So I can, obviously you could tell it's pretty good stuff, <laughs> so we're freaking sipping down, and then later that night, uh, we were in, um, we did a demo and we're at some skate park where it was like a dry state. So there was no, you know, liquor sold on that day. And the police officers f that were working the demo drove us to the liquor store, made the liquor store open up the cabinets for us and let us buy liquor. I, mean, I kind of just like shooting anything, like anything that triggers my brain to be like, oh, I should shoot that. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of bullshit I've shot. <laughs> yeah. I look through, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? But then I have good shit where I'm like, oh, I'm glad I shot that photo. After I got like a more legit, not a disposable point and shoot, yeah, cool. it's like, oh, I actually got the camera here somewhere. Okay, cool. I got it from a company as like a signing bonus. Okay. Um, but then back then they had like the zooms. <laughs> that was so cool. I was like, oh, yeah, I can shoot so far away. <laughs> But yeah, so that was, this is kind of like the first like actual camera I ever had for like, which is still, in, I didn't really shoot with it that much. It's pretty fucking, pretty good still. Yeah, these are some of the photos. Yeah, we were in Germany. This is like, you know, the Berlin really? Wall. We all like caught tags on it and stuff. Oh, this yeah, like this one, just, just, just for like, it actually came out crispy. Mm -hmm. And just like two of my best friends. Yeah. Danny yeah. Super, Brian Brown. Oh yeah, I got a photo of Forrest right here. Here's probably the first. <laughs> Did a no slide down this big hubba. Try to get all artsy with oh, the, like yeah. little like yeah, yeah. <laughs> little fucking leaves hanging in there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. And then um but I had this little cheap plastic Holga camera. Actually had this lens taped to. And this lens is from like way back when I was used to make skate videos. So this is a video video lens. I wanted to shoot skate photos. So the fish eye, you need the fish eye, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just had that fish eye, taped it on, started messing with it. And um, I used to have the, this has a built-in flash and then you can switch it to, um, you can switch it to a bulb, which is, you know, just as long as you hold down the button, the aperture's open or just normal, which is like, it'll adapt to the, the settings to do the shutter automatically. So I'd keep it on bulb and then I would use the flash, I would kind of hold it down a little longer. So it would, the flash would catch the, you know, the subject and then the background would kind of be blurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the epic shot. Yeah, so I got like, kind of looks like a, this is at the Brooklyn Banks, it's uh, Brian just doing a front wall right on one of the pillars. Mm -hmm. But I just always loved it because it kind of looks like, you know, it looks like a painting in the back or something. His face is nice and crispy, you can tell where it is. Um, and this one of uh, Robbie and Jemmy doing a tray flip to fakey. But I kind of like these more than like the more recent stuff I've shot on digital. Shot this photo in uh, Cuba of the security guard. We were kind of like in the ghetto. It's hard to get stuff in focus because those cameras don't have an actual 
legit focus on it. Right. So when you get anything back that's in focus, it was kind of just like, cool. So then, yeah, after these cameras, I kind of got like way more psyched on shooting photography. And then I went to South Africa on a trip. And I remember I wanted to like <clears throat> shoot good photos. <laughs> like I wanted like a good film camera. So I asked a bunch of people and like, dude, you gotta get a Leica M6. You gotta get a Leica, da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, cool. So then I got the Leica. These are some photos I've shot on that. This is a photo in Aruba of a, uh, I'm kind of zoom in a little bit, but it's uh, Fred Gall doing a blunt to fakie up on this roof. And then after that, um, I got a digital camera, which I got over here. <clears throat> so I got a Canon uh, 5D Mark III, which I normally shoot mainly with this, like an 85. Uh, one, two. Photo of Ron Diley I shot. This old, uh, the junk spot. Oh, yeah. Just doing a tail grab from the hip over here. This photo of Jake Johnson doing like a switch Wally. Oh, uh, this is a photo of Eli. This is like probably one of the first photos I shot with like a flash. It was like, it's like Wally and off of this thing through the water. I feel like, kind of like, Maybe touched on most of them. There's definitely some good stories in here somewhere. There's a photo I shot on my Leica, Stefan doing a switch crook. I think that's uh, East New York. We were like faded one night at Tampa. We were super hungry, so we went and bought like a bunch of fucking frozen pizzas. And then we get back and we had no microwave, so I told him to use the ironing board. <laughs> And it's like smoking, you got the cheese hanging off the fucking iron board. And we probably heated up like six of them that night. <laughs> but yeah, this is why I like shooting photos, just for random, you know, shit like that. For the last like few years, I've been kind of messing around with like doing collages um, with just a bunch of different photos I've shot and making them kind of look like real, trying to make them look like realistic scenes. And it's all printed out individually, cut. I had to print them a bunch of times because the sizes were all wrong proportion-wise. Well, this is probably like, this is four different photos. But it's uh, Cape Cod Lighthouse or the Chatham Lighthouse where I grew up with all the Cape Cod. And then I have the city line of, the, of New York in the back. Little seagull from Cape Cod up in the corner. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of, you know, this is kind of where I'm trying to go.